as I'm doing that and trying to switch the screen, it was a little bit difficult. One handed is not an easy one to play a flute. I just thought I'd use that as the intro again. Here again for the daily reading spread of the Lenneman deck that I'm loving using. So I'm going to keep moving forward with that and this morning I'm actually using just the eCam and not that I had any problem with anything else I just decided I'd do the feed in and see how it went with just that pro platform program oh my hair's in the way uh, won't matter in a minute so here's the deck that we've got laid out as per the photo that I took still having trouble though with focusing these cameras over the cards at some point I shall be able to work that out and I'll get it where I can actually have it working clearly so that you can see them clearly now as we're learning with this spread it's the two rows of nine cards and each of them is read in the pairs just for those who may be here earlier uh, who haven't seen it before um, I'm hoping you can see them clearly enough and it's big enough and I'm also hoping that there is the sound coming through I'm just going to see if I can get that monitor come up in my Facebook feed um, it is showing as you can hear the echo there turn the volume down Hi Elaine, hi Jen. Now just going to, if you could bear with me, I know that comments can come into this but I'm not sure where or how I get them on screen with this. I haven't practiced just with the eCam program before. So I'm trying to find it and at the moment it's not coming up. The overlays countdown I did have it here at some point but now it's disappeared so I'm not 100% sure what it's doing sorry about that um, no. doesn't look like it is so that's okay I'll leave it at that we'll, we'll progress so I'm just gonna have to keep a bit of an eye on the actual iPad which is down there you'll see me looking away a bit so hi Jen I can see that you're on as well you've commented and I, <laughs> I don't know how to put it on the screen with this I need a bit more practice with just eCam so I'll keep going in that position of the first spot that we've got there oh my hair is in the way you can't see my face there's the, the we've got the whip and we've got bear so that's actually a strong indication and that's in the position of someone that I'll meet and what will come of that meeting. So there's going to be some progression uh, with a very strong influence and energy around that of actually of cleaning up some stuff and which amazingly today there is a, um, a couple of people coming to help me get some furniture from the back porch, back carport area to go to the second time round today so I uh, think that's probably what that's going to be about so oh there's the comments I've just seen that that shows up whoops hang on does that show if I can show that does it show up oh it does yay it popped in good well that's one of those issues solved isn't it hi Elaine <laughs> and here we've got Jen hi Jen and you can see good goody good now, how to get that down? Whoops, actually got to be a bit accurate <laughs> with, with the um, mouse for this one. So, um, I already know what that first one's going to be. And there is a delay, I've noticed, what I'm seeing actually on the screen with my iPad to what shows up here in the program itself. So, do bear with me if, you've, if there is a comment that's going to be showing up there that I want to put on. It's going to be a bit delayed. Anyway, back to the reading. I don't want to take forever. <laughs> oh, God, I needed to have brought my hair band. I didn't. Too bad. Um, we've got in the second line, that's someone who I care about and what's going to happen for them through the day, what they'll do. So what we've got there is a magnifying glass and the fox. So I dare say he's um, there's someone I care about. He's actually over at um, Port Elliot 
there, that's 44 too by the way so it's a bit of a pair number too um, it's actually uh, sussing out little bits and pieces and things to do to fix up around the place before we move before I move back in so um, that's what I'm su suggesting that that one will mean for me in my day so what does it mean for you in your day it's a magnifying glass and a fox keeping in mind that the fox is something to do with a bit of a sneakiness deception and I can't remember what others <laughs> wrong 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 direction or you know it, it's a bit of a cautionary one but what I know that we're looking at is just the bits and pieces of things around the place that actually need some fixing or, you know, repairs and that. With two dogs, and here's the next one. This one's actually in the uh, position of someone that, someone who annoys me and what will they do? Um, I take the attitude of not having people annoy me. <laughs> but this is what the, the spread actually <laughs> does suggest, that there's someone that annoys me. Okay, uh, what will I do? Well, there's decisions to be made and there's the dogs. Sometimes the dogs can annoy me. <laughs> yeah, I reckon that's funny, isn't it? <laughs> A good one, Elaine. The fox, yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to click that. that that's it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just find these cards just so literal and appropriate. A lot of the time so I mean it's just the the interpretation that we give them anyway so I'm just noticing how much of that that wall there is <laughs> uh, anyway here's the that the dog and the decision so there's a split pathway well one of the things that uh, Tony's got a dog I've got a dog so there is a little bit not conflict but sometimes they can be little rascals and while we're poking holes, you know, fixing up the fence and whatnot for the hole so that there isn't any way they'd get out when we get back there and all of that sort of stuff. So as far as an annoyance go, I'd actually say since the dogs are here, it can be annoying having a dog sometimes because for me, you've got to walk the dog. Um, the other dog drops hair. You know, it's all those things. But will we change having them? No, because we absolutely love our little furry friends. They are part of the family and, you know, that's just something you put up with. And the next pair is actually child and time. And I'm oh, just giggling to myself because it's actually telling me the child-mindedness of dogs as well sometimes. You really do have to treat them a bit like children and, and you know, there's still some training to do because the other one's not quite used to a dog door. You know, and that takes time. And even this in that position of something that will happen to console me, I know <laughs> that it does happen that they do train, that things do happen in the right time to be able to um, actually even just to change a perspective on something that you need to. Just that slight little shift of looking from a different angle and you can change a perspective on anything. Now I am going to move this slider, so do bear with me while I move it. I'm going to go all the way so we've got the other half of the cards this time so I don't have to move it again. Okay, now, and I might just move my little duva up there a little bit further or down. Actually, I don't know, I think I'll leave it there after all. We're at the halfway mark and that is heart and moon. And in this fifth pair that we're reading now, that's to do with... Uh, something that awaits me so oh, I mean looking at the moon and the heart together that's just as literal as you can get it's it's the the love the heart base of everything is going to come out and shine and that's what awaits me and that's what life is feeling like at the moment that everything's actually going through its cycles and and proving that the trust that we have the love we have for self and what's what we're moving into is uh, coming to that shining moment of like a full moon. We all know the energy of the full moon, regardless of the fact it's, I think, isn't that that old saying about the full moon brings out the lunatics? Um, I might disregard that. That's something that just came into my head. We're not coming up for a full moon, are we? Um, <laughs> it's just the cycle of what life is and what awaits me. Um, you know, it's just, it really is what I'm, doing is from the heart I've had that message to me from the heart that uh, things are moving ahead in ways I'm just not going to be 
uh, aware of. It, you know, things turn up at the right time, don't they? So that's what I'm seeing. Each one of those little moons that are in that little cycle and sphere it just fits so well. The next one that we have is position six. So that's the pair of six at six, which is something that will help me. Um, this is the well, and we do some uh, quite often associate that with a wishing well. But it's the, the factor of looking deeply into things. And this here is hunting out all the things that are opportunistic like mice do, even to the point of, as you can see, nibbling through that cloth. It's got everything it needs. It's, it's hunting everything it needs. It goes into the small places and finds them. So it's about looking deep and finding those things that will help me and be ready and prepared to actually move into it at the, you know, as things crop up, be ready and actually take advantage of what what is the opportunity so that's what that's telling me and that then moving into the seventh pair which is something that will happen that might surprise me and it's commitment and change so i think that's just so it's because the stalks really are about the change and uh, moving and i'll show you the, the, my chocolate card that I drew today it's one I've had frequently over the last couple of days at uh, the week the last couple of weeks and it's to do with change so definitely there is the change in the move it's the the change happening and it's about making a commitment to that and actually getting it moving which that whip was part of the start of it you know the start of the story for this for my day today that's how I'm saying it anyway so you may interpret any of these for yourselves in whatever way that you're getting your own gut feeling about them too. That's why I like these because it's not just my energy, although it's me, it's my reading that I, I shuffled these for and put my energy into it. It's also with the intention that anything that's meaningful to anyone watching this, it, it has meaning and you'll take from it what you need to. Um, in our eighth position, we've got something that I desire whether it'll happen or not. <laughs> the older male, well, he's over at Port Elliot. <laughs> so opening the key, he's got the key to the door too. Uh, that house, key to my heart, all the rest of it. <laughs> it's all just, uh, you know, we, we do have the choices of what we need to be making, whether we lock or unlock that door of the cage. So whatever cage we're actually putting ourselves in, in the respect of, you know, having the desire for anything, uh, it certainly would be to unlock what is the potential around the relationship. So that's how I'm reading that one. And I'm just going to pull this out slightly further so we can see that clearly. There is shadows here because of the way the lighting is, but it makes it more interesting, doesn't it? Um, and the final one, something nice, which is uh, the last pair. And oh my, like just to finish off with the flowers and a compass, that really is nice. It gives that completion of direction and focus for me today that this is the direction I'm going, that uh, it really is a direction that I'm going to really enjoy and be able to smell the roses with, so to speak, because the flowers, who doesn't like getting flowers? Um, it's one of those things as I... As I was actually going through some photos and things on my hard drive, I was downloading them from my cloud, cloud storage and just looking through some of the family photos and how many photos mum would take of the bouquets of flowers at uh, you know, her birthdays or anniversaries and the rest. Everyone knew mum loved flowers and there was always bouquets. They were absolutely superb and I've got the... <laughs> You know, the photos of nearly all of them in on my hard drive now. I've pulled them down and, oh, superb. I'll probably be putting a few of those, actually, on uh, my new website because I've got my rosboundy.com.au website. It's published. It's not finished. I've still got uh, lots of things to add to that. I only did that yesterday. So keep your eye out for that in future. I'll put things like that in the Facebook feed as well. Thoroughly enjoying connecting with you people. So thank you very much for coming in and commenting. And thank you to those who've, who are just watching because I've noticed that Ermgarden Carol, hi to you as well, that you've been watching at some point. 
Thank you for spreading around if you're interested in sharing this with other people that might be interested in, you know, just learning a little bit more about the cards. I have got a closed, um, oh, that hair, uh, <laughs> a closed card reading group that I've started too under my hypnosis plus with Roz and then it's got card reading group, I think. Just ask if you want to be in and I can invite you into it. I'm just going to be doing these, like copying these uh, videos over to there and at some point when I've got that bit more time, go through some of those things that pop up in there if you've got any questions. So, um, and I can add that to broadcast. I like that. Thanks, Elaine. <laughs> I found it. I found it. <laughs> Excitement in using a program on a computer. God, I've been sitting behind a screen like this since 1982. <laughs> oh, goodness. And I get excited still. I think it's wonderful that we can bring things like this out in front of people that, uh, you know, helping you like, to, to actually understand it and read the cards for yourselves and all the rest. Oh, thanks, Elaine. Um, yeah, well, it's one of those things. I've just washed it and I can't do a thing with it, so it goes crazy. You know, it was one of those things, just thinking of mum, I don't know why, probably because there's the shift and move and everything happening. Mum, there's a strand of hair in here somewhere, and it's not standing, there it is, that's almost straight. She always wanted me to cut it off because it was straight against the curls. And I was very stubborn. I said, no, nah, never gonna, so I won't. <laughs> it's just that little reminder. Isn't it funny how there's always, there is always something about our own personal self that we just don't like or can't accept. And for me, it's a lot of that has been to do with my hair, you know, body image in general, but it's, it's the hair, the curliness, what do you do with it? And I've just let it grow long and do I get it colored or not? I mean, I'm starting to see, you know, all, all the reasons why, why oh, I might get it colored again or not, or let it go gray. Yeah. Look, just love and accept who you are because each and every person, a comment from Tony yesterday as he was people watching at Victor Harbour because we were talking on the phone, he said, you know, everybody, there's so many different shapes and sizes and way people behave. We're all unique. Why do we bother about what we look like? And that is exactly right. It's what we have from the heart and share with others. So I thank you for sharing your time with me. And I'm going to get going on further work through the day and, and have some furniture moved to later. So thanks for watching. Spread it around. And uh, tomorrow morning, hopefully around the same time, probably maybe early, who knows, keep your eye out. And namaste. Oh, <laughs> you cray. I've got to put that one up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see I'm grey, half of it. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.